Day three, we'll start there with the Celebration Chase. Sand out, and it's a two mile grade two, and there's quite a small field for this one. Top one, Crafty Customer for Craig Allen. John Morgan's got the next two, Avril Anderson and Central House. Jack Sparrow for Ryan Tamasebi. Lexington Bark for Vinnie Gerard. Nightstar for Ryan Costello, and Vinnie Gerard again with Portland Daydream at the bottom. So just seven then. And more horses or less races, I think, is what we're going to need for the National Hunt next season. Called in and away. A short run to the first, and over we go. And Jack Sparrow is the first one to show. And opens up by a couple of lengths to Avro Anton on the inside in second. The first of the two John Morgan horses are making their way down towards the second of the 12 fences there now. And all safely over that one with Jack Sparrow, the clear leader by three lengths to Portland Daydream to take this ditch and it's gone there Avro Hansen so yet again the John Morgan disaster with jumping so he's one of his horses on the deck and I think it's time for John Morgan to get Harvey Smith round or somebody but it's Jack Sparrow in front past the winning post then and out for a complete circuit off the sand down trap Portland Daydream is about five lengths down in second and Nightstar on the inside of Central House and Crafty Customer and finally Lexington Bark. So we're down to just six. Three of whom are great. So they're racing now down towards the back part of the track. The old water jump has been taken out. And we'll come first of all to this next fence with Jack Sparrow. Five lengths clear of oh, Portland Daydream in second. Central House and Night Star third and fourth, and then a gap of another three lengths back to Crafty Customer and Lexington Bark. So it's a long run now to the next. With that water having gone, and it's Jack Sparrow in the lead. Leading by three. To Portland Daydream. Oh, he's gone straight through the top of Lear and also Central House made a mistake as well over the second part of that quick double and Jack Sparrow and Portland Daydream from Central House and Night Style in Lexington Bark and Crafty Customer and suddenly they're all pretty tightly grouped as they take that ditch and make their way then down now towards the railway fences with Jack Sparrow in the lead and Central House second these three coming up in quick succession, they're going to need to get these right. And Jack Sparrow being driven into the first of them. They all get over the first one, okay. All over the second as well, which means they'll probably all take the third as well. And they do a little bit untidy with Portland Daydream, but just the pond and then the two in the straight to go now then. And it's Jack Sparrow in front from Nightstar in second and Central House in third. Gap back to Portland Daydream and then Crafty Customer. Lexington Bark under pressure at the back, but Jack Sparrow has had it pretty much all his own way in the lead so far. And nothing seems to be coming out of the pack to challenge at this stage. Night Star trying to be driven along, Portland Daydream and Central House trying to run on as well. Crafty Customer just hasn't got going at all today. Over the pond fence they go, and they're all safely over that one. And it's just two to take then now in the straight, and it's Jack Sparrow from Night Star. These two are well clear of Portland Daydream and Central House. It could well be between these two as they come down towards the final two fences. Over it they go, and a mistake by Night Star. Jack Sparrow jumped in better, but a better jump of all came from Central House in third as they take the final fence, and over it they go. And Night Star lands in the lead, and it's an uphill finish now. And Night Star with a low weight is clear. Not Night Star is a good two, three lengths clear, and they're racing up towards the line. And Night Star's going to take it through from Central House. Night Star wins it, Central House second, Jack Sparrow is back in third, and then came Portland, Daydream, and Lexington Bark, and finally, Crafty Customer. So, one or two strange runs there, uh, unexpected winner, as Night Star takes a grade two, so it wasn't getting weight at all, it wasn't a handicap, and let's take a look at the full Finishing order for this opening race on day three. And it's Night Star for Ryan Costello, the winner. Central House for John Morgan, second. Jack Sparrow, Ryan Tamasevi, third. Paul and Daydream for Vinnie Gerald was fourth, who also took fifth with Lexington Bar.